Hello everyone and welcome back to Jurassic Park Builder and we are here in our corner of Jurassic Park where we've got all of our little dinosaurs mostly snoozing because we need to collect their donations. But as you can see we have been working hard collecting up so many coins. Look at all those coins. Over 3 million coins. So hopefully we'll be able to do something pretty interesting with them today and I've got a couple pretty awesome ideas. So first things first let's collect all the coins up. Hello everyone! Yes, thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, Tiny! Alright. Oh, and look, 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 look! Our new Cretaceous coasters are built, so we might actually have to start dismantling the old um, amusement park, which is more like an amusem park, um, to make a really awful pun. But I think maybe we'll make like a little museum research triangle and then we'll make like an actual amusement park sort of area over here. In fact, we might even start expanding a little bit. Ooh, there's a lot of room to expand over here still. Jeez Louise, we could build entire cities that way. Well, we just might do that. All right, so we're going to save the coins for now, though, because I've got some fun ideas of what I want to do with them. We're also saving up our bucks for a beach. I kind of want to line this area with a few beaches because we're at the point now where you just start kind of showing off what you can earn. Um, so let me see how much I think the beach is kind of expensive. Like we could do a beach with like a, a Ferris wheel, you know, like a boardwalk and hot air balloons. Um, Let's see, you know, the Grand Hammond Hotel. Oh yeah, the beach is actually a decorative item. And I pass it up, there it is. So it's about 30 bucks. So when we start getting into the higher level aquatic battles, when we can start pulling in like 120 bucks every win for the tournaments, then we might spend some of those bucks on a beach. And we can line the beaches up, whoop, uh, later. And we can line the beaches up along here. So that's kind of a long-term goal, just whenever we have some spare bucks laying around. All right, let's go ahead and gather up this. We're ready to expand in these areas as well. Fantastic, plenty of room. Look, 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 and we're next to our rock. Oh, that's so cool. So plenty of room to keep expanding in this area for our safari lodges. I really do want to try to make them sort of mimic little cities than anything else so not just a line of lodges there's a bit of personality and depth and story to them you guys know i love my stories also we need to start evolving these guys up a little bit more so we might work on that today too hello everybody thank you so much thank you so much you guys are awesome coins everywhere all right that should be yeah that's all the coins there we go a little bit more from tracy and nissa and we don't have a name for this guy yet, do we? We should come up with a name for this guy. But all right, yeah, that's lots and lots of coins. So let's pop over, whoops. Let's pop over to our glacial area. The glacial area is actually the next zone I wanna visit because we have some DNA sitting inside of the research chambers. So we're gonna try analyzing that DNA today. All right, because I totally have forgotten what the heck could be in there. Hello, Woolly Mammoth. Hello, everybody. You know what? These guys don't have names either. So what are some good names for everybody we have over here? I love the Gastronus. Oh, we should evolve these guys. Let's evolve these guys today. That totally could be a thing. I want to see what they turn into. I mean, they're, they're not terribly bad. They're not the strongest animals, but I really just like them as a species. And I would love to get more info igloos set up around here. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and see if we can finish one of our quests first by putting down one more of those very, very expensive red flower patches next to our little mammoth right here. All right, buddy, I'm actually gonna put this one in front of this info igloo, why not? And there we go. Better buckle up, the pilot says it's going to be real bumpy. All right, thank you so much, Kelly. All right, what's our next quest? I've planted several digital cameras into the ice and ran a cable that goes back to operations. Did you see the saber tooth? Afraid not, Kelly, the app is loaded, but I don't see them on my tablet. It was the same on this phone. <laughs> Here, let me try. Oh dear, this modern age, that's hilarious. She's te teaching Dr. Hammond to use his app to like remotely watch his animals, that's so funny. We're setting up a system to allow remote ph photography across the glacial park using tablets and other mobile devices, but we haven't worked out the bugs yet. Create a path from the gateway to the Melostros using roads uh, and to the souvenir outposts using roads. That's actually an interesting one. 
I'm gonna move the little ice sculpture. I'm gonna move it back here. So who do we need to move it next to? Not that guy, this guy, all right. And the souvenir shop, did it say? Let's see, oh, and that's the guy we need to move. This guy right here. All right, well, we can move him. There we go, and I guess we need to level him up. So we might evolve him today too. It looks like a day for evolving everyone. And we're gonna have to temporarily move the souvenir outpost down next to him so that we can just get this road built. All right, it's much more specific on the quest in this in this land because normally it's just like oh put down like five roads anywhere and it'll be good but not here. All right. Oh great, we'll take a look at these locations soon. Yay, we're getting closer to leveling up again. Uh oh, no thanks. Me and photos don't mix. Trust me, I look awful and I won't be held responsible if your camera phone breaks. Kelly, you're like 10. I want to just grab your shoulders and be like, no, have more confidence in yourself. Don't say such things. Everyone deserves to feel like they can have a picture of themselves without feeling embarrassed or ashamed. Oh, poor Kelly. She's so young and already like the pressures of modern society are bearing down on her. I know, why don't you take some photos of the animals laying around Gra Glacier Park? We'll use the app to upload the image files online later. All right, collect 10,000 coins from any animal with at least a 15% bonus, what? Oh good, these guys have a 15% bonus. Well, we'll work on that, slowly but surely. Oh, look at the little ice buggy going across. Man, these guys are huge compared to the freaking little, like there has to be like maybe a dozen people in these little ice mobiles. And this isn't just any deer, ancient prehistoric deer thing. It's like one that was five times the size of any buildings. Good grief. That just looks ridiculous. That's hilarious. All right, well, we'll, we'll keep moving. Let's see, what I do want to do next is put some money into researching a new creature. Ooh, yes, there we go. So we're gonna drop a bit of money. Um, it's not that expensive at 13,000. So we'll save our bucks and see what happens. Come on, okay, it's okay, it's okay, Siri. 13,000 isn't terrible. I've just gotten, ever since I've been winning the aquatic tournaments, I've gotten a little bit used to having pretty much as many bucks as I, I want for a lot of things. Ah, I miss winning those aquatic tournaments. We have to work our way back up to all-star status ASAP, so we might try to pull off a tournament in just a minute. Because I'm still, I think I'm still at silver level. No! Come on, little guy, I want to see what you are. Alright, we're almost there. Researching some new guys. Not quite. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh. Nope, nope, nope. We have the money for it. The coins can be more easily replaced. So I just have to hold firm and cross our fingers for petri dish luck. Which we're not having a ton of, but we're almost there. And we've got three million coins. It should be okay. Come on. Almost. Don't make me break out the bucks. I'm doing so good resisting. Because we actually, the bucks are far more useful when trying to evolve creatures, to be honest, so. There we go. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Oh, it's cute. Look at him. Oh, let's put you down. I have no idea what you are. A giant ground sloth? No idea. And we'll put you over here. There we go, now he's incubating inside of his little incubator. So we've got that guy. I guess we should evolve this guy? Maybe. Because we need to level him up to complete some of the quests. And we haven't evolved a single one of these creatures to their next star level. So let's go ahead and do it. There we go. See, and now is the time when I wouldn't mind using a gentle buck or two here and there if we need to. Because I love seeing the evolutions continue. All right, see, and now we'll use one little buck. Dang it! Two little bucks. Oh, you're kidding me. Really? This is the last little buck you get. Okay, that's it, uh-uh. I've got more money than I have bucks. You just used up your, your buck opportunity, sir. All right, and then we'll go through this. Oh, the irony. Oh, the irony. Really? Okay, fine, that's fine, that's fine. But yeah, we'll be going down to the aquatic zone in just a minute. 
and I will show you guys the expanding expansions that we're working on down there and collect our coins and we might evolve a couple creatures. It depends. Um, because the more creatures we evolve in the areas we actually like to fight in, then the harder it becomes to win. <laughs> so we'll see what happens. All right, last one. Almost. Come on, little guy. Are you going back in your little incubator? Oh, come on. Come on, don't be shy. You don't want to just be like a gelatinous pile of DNA now. You want to go back to being a living creature. I promise it won't be so bad. Come on. There we go. All right. That's better. Now it has enough terrain. Okay, so we expanded its area. It's also known as the Irish Elk. Thank goodness I have another name to call it now. All right, so we just progressed on one of the quests, apparently. Uh, what's this? Collect from a building with a 5% bonus. Feed an animal four times. Oh, we can actually do that with some of these guys now. And these guys take forever. Look at that. 85 hours. 84 hours there. 31 hours here. They take forever to evolve. So it's actually good to try to get that done. All right, well, let's move down to Aquatic Zone. And we're going to see how everything's going on down here. Dun 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 dun! Oh, I love our aquatic zone. It's without a doubt my favorite. <gasps> oh, there's a new guy available! The Pleosaur, uh, Pleosaur is available only for a limited time. Last day to find the DNA sample during your expeditions. What? Alright. Ah, do I want to rush it? Do I want to rush it? We're going to rush it. Dang it! I, I was hoping I had a larger array out. Alright. Do we have that guy, though? I better check if we have that guy. I don't think we have that guy. No, we don't have that guy. DNA sample not found. Oh, oh, and we have the Dicosaurus, who is also very rare. So let's go ahead and decode him. There you go, buddy. So we're going to decode him and get him ready to go out into our beautiful aquatic abyss. I still wish we need to save up the bucks again because there are a few creatures that cost like 450, 500 bucks that we haven't gotten yet. And then there's also like the colossal squid and the megalodon, all of the rare aquatic creatures that we haven't managed to get our paws on just yet. All right, come on little guy. You're not terribly expensive when it comes to researching at least. Because there's some of them when you evolve them and it's like 45,000, 65,000 coins a turn. Ugh. I imagine it's just because you need bigger research teams. All right. Oh, we're so close to leveling up. That's awesome. All right. There you go, guys. Almost there. Nope. Drat. All right. A little bit more. There we go. And we're going to keep going. Almost. Come on, Petri Dish Luck. Oh, you're kidding me. Nope. Sit on it, Siri. Don't you spend those books. Ew. That was a painful one. Somebody wasn't paying attention. There we go. We're almost there. What's the point of having money if you don't use it for something good? And so we'll use it for, for the powers of good. Alright, let's see. And one more. Then we can put the little guy down. There we go. Oh, look at him. Oh, you're cheap too. Wow. All right. He doesn't cost a lot. And we can come and put him back here or over here. I think we'll put him back here. All right. And he goes. Ta-da! New little egg. Growing up. He'll be ready in a few hours. That means I can spend some time collecting from these guys. There we go. And let's check the food. Keep the food train going. Whoops. No, don't rush it. Miss clicking on things everywhere. I really want to evolve this guy too because he's very cool. And actually pretty powerful when he gets up to... Not terribly powerful, but pretty powerful when he gets up to the higher levels. Alright, let's add more of these down. There we go. And you can see how our little city of Atlantis is spreading. And what I think we're actually going to start doing is pulling the house is a little bit closer together. There's tons of awesome decorative items we could do, like the little kelp bed and things like that in smaller areas. But I think it's probably better just to pull the houses closer together. Like, look at this little barnacle stone. Oh, isn't it just the cutest thing? Oh, I love it. 
but I, as much as I love it, like it just wouldn't make a lot of sense in a lot of places. So <sighs> we'll think about it. What missions do we have down here? Oh, Pebble Garden. Let's do a Pebble Garden at least. Oh, we need Barnacle Stones. Ooh, tempting. All right, so let's see. Actually, let's try it this way. We'll scooch the house back one. And that'll do that. And then we need barnacle stones. Can I fit them in here? I can. So we'll put a couple barnacle stones as decoration among the houses, which would be really pretty. And can I put one more? I think I could like then scooch this back here and scooch this back here. There we go. How many more barnacle stones? And I will get that pebble garden. Yeah, we need lots more barnacle stones and coral reefs and expensive things like that. So then I can put that down. And this down. There we go. That's looking nice. Wow. Oh, that's so pretty. It's kind of cluttered over here though. So would it look better if we move the barnacle stones elsewhere? And we put, there's the giant seashell, there's the columns. The medium fossil is fantastic. The pebble garden, there we go. Oh, it's tiny and pretty. Ooh, I wonder if we should do pebble gardens over here instead. Nice, let's put that down. Well, here goes nothing. I don't understand, Dr. Grant. Are you sure you want to do this? I don't feel comfortable being some kind of spokesperson. I dig up rocks for a living, and life in the spotlight just isn't me. I understand how you feel. We're both men of science, after all. However, I'm still short one star. I've got the perfect candidate for you, Ian Malcolm. Dr. Malcolm's not here. He flew the coop a couple of hours ago. He, he's foolishly somewhere in the middle of the ocean by himself. What? Oh, and we leveled up! Yes! Yay! And we unlocked the ability to expand into more areas. So now what do we need to do? Let's get this straight. Malcolm took a sub and some provisions without anyone knowing and is currently lost out in the ocean by himself. Maybe he's looking for Kelly, who's currently being chased by a megalodon all by herself. My dear Dr. Grant, you are grossly exaggerating the situation. I never said he was lost. Hammond, please, this is no time to be kidding around. All oh, right, I need to know where Dr. Malcolm went. Did he leave behind a clue, a mark, anything that might indicate where he went? I wonder, I guess you can't just call somebody under the ocean on their cell phone. <laughs> I don't think that would work. All right, so we need to feed six crustivores and have 14 green seaweeds. You know, now that I'm looking over here, I feel like it's a little too cluttered by the houses with the barnacle stones, but those pebble gardens, now that's a thing of beauty. However, the barnacle stones look very nice and natural next to all of our big old creatures over here. So let's see if I can wiggle this in somewhere. There we go, next to the big coral plate. Yeah, those pebble gardens are very pretty. And can I squeeze you in anywhere? How about right down here? Hold still, hold still, hold still. There we go, almost got it. And there, phew. All right, but yeah, look at how pretty that pebble garden looks. We'll leave that there, and we'll probably put smaller, more manageable little gardeny areas over here. So I like how this is turning out. We've done our research. We're trying to catch a, another of the rare DNAs for the aquatic zone. Um, we've got a little egg that's gonna hatch in a little while with another one of the limited edition DNA critters. So what next? We've fully evolved Basil. We've fully evolved Derma. We've fully evolved Tri. Yeah, they're all max level. Um, we've got our little Kuliosaurus and our Bacolite doing what they do. And I'm pretty sure, is the Dicosaurus supposed to be? No, 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 it's, it's this guy right back here. Mosasaurus, the strongest of them all. So should we evolve him? Hmm. I think we will. I think we will, but I'll do it off camera because I'm going to jump into an aquatic tournament in a little bit. And it's just going to be low level. I don't think there's anything much to say about the aquatic tournaments right now. Because, let's see. Pretty sure it's not going to be for a lot of bucks because they're they're low level ranking. We have to work our way up, prove that we're we're deserve to be up on top. Yeah, we're almost to gold. Yeah, see, look at this, twelve dollars. <laughs> oh yay! What a win! I want to get back up to the 60, 80, 120 rewards. So we're gonna work our way up there. 
And after we do that, we might just evolve our Mosasaur, so he is full level, so that should be pretty interesting. But alright guys, we're doing great. We still have quite a bit of money, so let's see what else we can do really fast in the aquatic area. More barnacle stones, crustivores, gonna have to work on that. Four giant sea stars. Um, activate the fish harbor. Oh, we just need to do that one more time. Ta-da! That was textbook perfect, but I think the fault lies with me. Okay, sorry to hear that. Henry, why the long face? Analyzing those DNA samples hasn't been as simple as I thought. I feel like I'm letting down the company, and you as well. Nonsense, my boy. You're doing your best. That's all I ever ask. You'll crack those DNA samples. It's only a matter of time. There we go. All right, Henry, how can we help out? Okay, it's better if you see for yourself on the news, the reports of the stolen DNA samples that were taken from my park. Oh, we've been compromised. We have a nationwide media leak. I'm taking active measures to protect our research. I could use every hand I could get. Collect 12,000 coins from sea creatures. Move three sea creatures. Okay. So that's not a spending sort of thing. We'll move them around a little bit. I still need to destroy the, the little tour places. All right, so we did that. Now we're going to get back to barnacle stones, coral patches, and coral reef. Where's the coral reef? I want to see the pretty coral reef. Let's see. Coral reef. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Where can I put you that you'll do the most good? Over by our Mosasaur? I think Try is pulling in the most money right now. So can I get this somewhere near Try? Maybe. All right, let's see who makes the most money. 31,000 coins. Yeah, Try makes the most money right now. So let's go ahead and we'll move the observation deck to a more convenient location over here. And then we're gonna come over here and add the coral reef right about here. Cause that hits a whole bunch of different creatures. Boom, there we go. Nice coral reef. Try is now pulling in a little bit more, a thousand more an hour. Barnacle stones and small coral patches. Let's see if we can pull this off. Small coral patch. Ooh, we can put it next to try too. Try, I guess you're our pebbles of the ocean. Pulling in that money for us. Oh, such expensive items, why? Ah, oh, good, 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 good. There we go. Fits perfectly next to the other one. The coral reefs look really nice up against each other too. Oh my gosh, so one more small coral patch, for real? Oh, so expensive, so expensive. Um, I guess I don't really have a choice. I'm just gonna have to put it right here. There we go. And six barnacle stones. <gasps> can we pull it off? Can we pull off her super expensive request? I think we can, you guys. Yes. Barnacle stone here. And then let's tuck a barnacle stone back here. And we burned through all of our money, but the good news is we finished a quest. Is it gone yet? That was one ugly fish. So the megalodon is now behind us. So what are we doing now? What was that? Did you see that? Over there. That's definitely something creepy following us. Let's get out of here without attracting too much attention. Place 10 tracks and have five yellow coral bushes. Well, we'll work on that for the future. So there we go, you guys. We have added to our park really wonderfully. I'm very happy with it. Let's move the security office. How about over here next to the, the little houses or down here? Next to the Mosasaur seems like a good idea. All right, yeah, we're gonna have fun expanding and building around here. So I might even add in while we're down here. Let's go ahead and we will put in a couple more of the underwater condo complexes. Just to let everybody know that we're still working on building a pristine Atlantis where they're all welcome to come and live. All right, and we'll put this one right against it. There we go. Perfect, and now we're out of money, but we're ready to go to battle and we're ready to like earn more coins up with pebbles and the rest on the Jurassic lair And I will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye